Hi guys, welcome to fifth grade, chapter six, lesson 10. There are word problems. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. It says Lim bought a bag of grapefruits. Five point, sorry, 1.58 pounds of apples and two and three sixteenths pounds of bananas. The total weight of our purchase was seven and a half pounds. How much did the bag of fruit per weigh? So all I did was I took the seven and a half pounds that the total bag was, I took away the two and three sixteenths that was the bananas and the one and five eighths that were apples to find out how much the grapefruit weighs. Okay. Now, 16 is going to be my common denominator between 2, 16, and 8. Okay. So I rewrote them all with 16 as the denominators, okay? Now, you will see, though, that eight, take away three is five, I can't then take away 10. So I borrowed one, I added a 16 over 16 to that first one to get 24 over 16, okay? So then I have six and 24 over 16 minus the two and three 16, minus the one and 10 sixteenths, okay? Okay, so now I'm gonna do the math, okay? Six minus two is four, minus one more is three. My denominator is 16, that is not going to change, okay? 24 minus three is 21, 21 minus 10 is 11. Three and 11 sixteenths pounds. I pre-wrote that out just to save us some time. We're going to wind up taking that time on the next one, okay? All right. Maddie's house consists of two stories and an attic. The first floor is eight and five, six feet tall. The second floor is eight and a half feet tall, and the entire house is 24 and a third. So how far is, or how tall is the attic? 24 and a third, and we're going to take away the other two floors. So minus eight and a half, minus eight and five, six. Okay, now the smallest number all of these go into is going to be six. Six, two, and three, smallest number they all go into is going to be six. Okay, so I still have 24, but to get the three to a six, I have to multiply it by two. So I'm going to multiply the top by two. Okay, and I'm going to get two. Okay, minus eight. That doesn't change. I'm going to have a fraction and then subtract. And that one is already a six, so I'm going to keep it. Okay, so in order to get the two to a six, I have to multiply by three, multiply the top by three. I get three, six. Okay, two cannot take away three, much less take away another five. Okay, so I'm going to borrow one from the 24, making it 23. Okay. I'm going to add a 6 over 6 because that's equal to the one that I borrowed so that I get 8 over 6. Then I'm going to take away the 8 and 3, 6 and the 8 and 5, 6. Okay? So you will happen to notice that 8 minus 3 is 5 minus another 5 is going to be 0. So whatever it is, it's going to be a flat number because it's going to be a 0 over 6, which is equal to 0. 23 minus 8 is 15, minus another 8 is 7 feet, okay? Just happen to get lucky on that one and have it be a round number, okay? Okay. All right, guys, number 4. Okay. It is 10 and 3 fifth mile from Alston to Barton and 12 and a half miles from Barton to Chester. The distance from Alston to Durban via Barton and Chester is 35 miles. So we're going to take that 35. Okay. I'm going to subtract 12 and a half and I'm going to subtract 10 and 3 fifths and then I will get my mileage from Chester to Durban. Okay? Okay. 
So 35, well, first, let's do common denominator, okay? So common denominator of 2 and 5 is going to be 10, okay? So in order to get 2 to 10, I have to multiply it by 5, multiply the top by 5, I get 5 over 10, minus, to get 5 to 10, I have to multiply it by 2, do the same for the top, okay? So now, I need a fraction. I don't have a fraction here. 35 over 1 isn't going to cut it, so I need to borrow one. And then I'm going to do a 10 over 10. Actually, I'm going to borrow two. And I'm going to do a 20 over 10. Because it, here, let me start with this. Okay. 10 can take away five, but then I can't take away six more. Okay. So I'm actually going to borrow another one. And I'm going to add a 10 over 10 to this. So my denominator stays 10. My top goes to 20. And then I still have. Okay, a little better. Okay, so now 33 take away 12 is going to be 21. Take away another 10 is going to be 11. Okay, my denominator is going to be 10. 20 take away 5 is 15. Take away 6 is 9. 11 and 9 tenths of a mile. Okay, there is nothing that says that you cannot borrow two. Okay, so if you can mentally, if you can skip that step and just take two and make it 20 over 10 because 10 would go into 20 two times. That's how we know we're borrowing two. Okay, if you can mentally do that, you go right ahead. I'm going to keep writing it out. Okay, all right. Okay, so. You guys are going to do five and six. You totally can. I believe in you. Start with the big number. Take away the smaller numbers. If you have to do it one step at a time, do it one step at a time. Okay? But you have examples. Use them. Okay? We're going to go on to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. Okay? And it says, what is a way to write 100,000 using exponents? Well. So always got a base of a 10 when it starts with a 1, okay, as long as there's no numbers after it except 0. And then I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros, what a 5, okay? What expression can be used for estimating 868 divided by 28? Well, I would do 900 divided by 30. That 6 is going to tell the 8 to go up, so that's 900. And the 8 is going to tell the 2 to go up, making it 30. There you go. Okay. Justin gave the clerk $20 to pay a bill of $6.57. How much change should Justin get back? So we have $20 take away $6.57. Okay. Obviously, zeros can't take away these numbers, so I'm going to come over here and make it a 1. That's a 10 now. But I have to borrow 1, 9, making that a 10. But I have to borrow 1 again, 9, 10. Okay. So now 10 take away, oh, drop our decimal. Oops. 10 take away 7 is 3. 9 take away 5 is 4. 9 take away 6 is 3. And bring down my 1. Make sure you have the dollar sign. That is your label. Okay. So, on this one, we're going to write MDOS. We have parentheses. That's our first. 6 minus 3 is 3. Done. Don't have any exponents. Don't have any multiplication, but I do have division. So, 7 plus 18 divided by 3 is 6. So, now, done with that. Now I just have addition. 7 plus 6, 13. Okay? 
There you go. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for seven or 6.10. Sorry, come on back for 6.11.